Listen, when the devil has caught off surveillance on your life, there's a problem. And so my goal tonight is that some of you that have not felt warfare and have never felt attacks, that you realize you don't feel like you're in a battle. If you don't know you're in a battle, it's because you're losing. And tonight you're going to enlist in an army and you're going to say, I'm ready to, to suit up and put on the whole armor of God. It's found in the she's in chapter six. This is not a museum of religious monuments. This is a training ground for soldiers that are ready for battle to fight. We don't fight in the flesh and blood. Our weapons are not carnal, but they're, they're, they're spiritual for the pulling down of strongholds. We call things to be in obedience to the name of Christ. If there's things in your life, men, that are not walking in obedience to Christ, we cast those down tonight. You have the power to overcome sin. You have the power to overcome yourself. Don't live for the lie that wants to dumb down the name of your sin. That, that cheating on your wife is not adultery, but it's just an extramarital affair. What in the world does that even mean, Miss Pat? An extramarital affair? It sounds like a day at Disneyland. I, I just got an extra relationship just for fun now and then. No, we don't dumb down that stuff. We call it out for what it is so we can recognize it because you'll never conquer what you won't confront. So we confront it in love, not to beat you down, but to challenge you to rise up to the call of God that's on your life. So let's just keep worshiping and let's understand that as you, the more intensity you worship with and, and the more freedom you begin to feel, the more things are happening in the spirit realm that you don't even know, but you're gonna leave here different. You're gonna hear the voice of God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that, that people, men and women that are here that are not familiar with your voice, Holy Spirit, tonight they would hear a voice that's not mine. They would hear a voice that's not from a man. They would hear a voice from heaven. Heaven, we open up heaven over this place and over the hearts of your people tonight, God. Jesus didn't die just to get you into heaven. He died to get heaven into you. And so, God, we say yes tonight to heaven. We say yes tonight to the call of God. We say yes tonight to the risen Savior. We say yes tonight to Jesus Christ, our best friend. We say yes tonight to a heavenly Father that desires to lavish his love upon us. We say yes tonight to saying, I am in agreement with his word that my sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. They are cast as far as the east is from the west into the sea of forgetfulness, never to be brought against me again. Stop living in the rear view mirror of life when God has called you to look ahead. Satan can't affect your future. That's why he's always talking about your past. He wants to draw your past into your present to paralyze you so you never make it to your future. You're gonna release that tonight. I feel right now just stuff falling to the ground, Astora. I, I feel shame and, and, and chains just falling to the ground tonight. We release that stuff. We don't partner with fear. We don't partner with shame. We don't partner with doubt and unbelief. We partner with Jesus tonight and the power of God. Power.